so <laughs> I'm very intimidated. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, so there we go. Let's do that. And I'll just like stand on my tippy toe. Okay. But you're sitting. Nobody knows that. Right. I'm, I'm sitting on a chair. You don't know that. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we are here with Laurie Holden, who plays Andrea, and newcomer to the show, Lauren Cohan, who plays, who's going to portray uh, Maggie. Um, She's I, the new hottie on the show, <laughs> <laughs> which would make you the primary and the sec- uh, anyway. I just had to, I, I had yeah. to, I had to let you know that because she won't say it, so I had to be the one to say that she's the new hottie on the show. All right, so I mean, <laughs> as well. <laughs> 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 um, no, I mean, for anyone who reads the comics, Maggie's you know a well-known character. Um, I guess what can you tell uh, me about your portrayal for her in, in the TV show? The TV show. What can I say without giving too much away, right? <laughs> um, I mean, the core of who Maggie is in the comic is definitely going to be what we're going to see in the show. Um, but so much more development, like in this first chapter, than you see. I think in the comic. I don't. I didn't feel in the comic like we knew that much of Maggie until we really got to the prison and. Um, and we had kind of the relationship between her and Glenn develop there, but um, but yeah, we definitely see Maggie come in, and we see a really, really nice relationship develop with her and Glenn. And um, I don't know, it's mayhem. It's so hard to say what I can say without giving story away. But um, she has an awesome introduction. Yes, one of the oh. best ever. Yeah. Can you tease that a little bit at all? Can I? <laughs> um. She's a horse rider, a woman of few words, and big actions in the beginning. You okay. saved That's, my life. I, can we say that? That's I about saved it. life. <laughs> we've, we've given you enough teasers for one, yeah. uh, one yeah. interview. All right, I mean, now, um, Andrea, in the co- I mean, she kind of becomes a, a, a sharpshooter in the comics. So, I mean, are you gonna, are we going to see like a badass version of Andrea? Oh, yeah. I mean, um, season two is awesome because, you know, in season one, I was bereft and suicidal over the loss of my sister. And um, and when you when we go into season two, um, she's pissed. She's really angry at Dale for taking away her choice, her choice, you know, to decide how she wanted to die. She didn't want to be torn apart by drooling freaks. She wanted to go painlessly and effortlessly, you know, in an explosion in the CDC. So she's got a bite um, in season two. And um, what I love about her, which you'll see because they've written her so beautifully, is she really decides that she's, if she's going to be in this world, she's going to be a survivor. She's not going to be a victim. So she watches all the boys and sees okay, how are they taking care of themselves? How are they defending themselves? And she wants to learn. So she really aligns herself with the leaders of the group and says, teach me, teach me, and takes it very seriously because she wants to make sure that she never is victimized and that anybody she cares about is ever again. So, um, so yeah, you're going to see her um, emerge as a real badass. <laughs> Excellent. Um, now, quickly go back to uh, Maggie and Glenn. Mm. How, um, what's, what's your chemistry like with Stephen over there? great it's it's really i mean steven's just one of i feel like he's the social glue of our group i really do i mean like he just made me feel welcome before i even got there i think he knew i had the job before i did at this no he didn't but like um it's just really good he's he's such a funny warm person he's so uh, he's so sweet so sweet and funny he's you really know funny. he's, so he's funny. just like i think i think what's been really fun with steven is that like he and I, like in Maggie and Glenn's relationship and in Stephen and I's relationship, it's just like, I feel like we're kind of the goofy ones, to be honest. Like, I feel like it's, we're, we're kind of here to like, give a little romance, a little lightness, maybe let everybody breathe for a minute. And it definitely goes to very serious places, but right now it's just been, it's nice. It's young love, you know, it's like that first love and that in this, in the same way as we'll see in the pilot, like the, these moments you have of hope that you can enjoy these simple things and, and Carl seeing the deer and all these all these things that remind you that there's like this beauty it's like Stephen and I kind of have this sweet relationship yeah oh. so it's really sweet because in all this darkness and all this sadness and loss there's this young love there's this beautiful it's really like Romeo and Juliet mm-hmm. forbidden and then enjoyed <laughs> That sounds pretty good. So I mean, the Walking Dead. <laughs> we're all super excited uh, for season two. Um, 
thank you so much for talking with us, and um, we're really looking forward to seeing Maggie in the show. Cool, cool. Me too. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>